Ladies and gents, welcome back. We are in Whitechapel area. It's Saturday, 24th of September. I'm going to walk along the market. It's been a beautiful sunny day until now, but as I press the record button, huge clouds came. But maybe it's good. Maybe it's better because there will be no walking against the sun. We are outside of the blind beggar pub. There is some meeting happening here, quite intense, I've seen. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe you guys can figure it out. They got some blink blink on them. How about you, young man? And some fighting, fighting stuff. <laughs> anyway guys maybe you can, maybe you can figure it out i have no clue what's going on they've ju they've just been quite intense for the last few minutes so today we are in east london area exciting exciting i've just finished a video from spitterfields brick lane the whole length of Whitechapel Market. It's Saturday, so it's busy. And the colors were just beautiful with the sunshine, with the sunlight. Now, I'm not gonna go into all details, how much what costs and what vegetables they sell, because I've done it already on my live streams. I've been here twice already. And this is my first pre pre-recorded video of this market and the reason why I'm not gonna show you details is because I will be back here in a during the week and this is when I will be doing a pre-recorded video of the vegetables and stuff but now I just want to show you how busy it is on a Saturday in September it's around 3 p.m. now Fishy, fishy. So I've noticed there is a lot of Bangladeshi names on uh, on the streets, including Brick Lane, including Whitechapel Station. I'll show you when we when we get there in a in a minute. You see how busy it is. This is amazing. The cloudy weather is actually amazing for me because otherwise I would be waiting. Oh, sorry. Otherwise I would be walking against the light, and you would not be able to see much because there would be, you know, it would be all sil silhouettes. So good for me. People don't realize how multicultural London is and how many minorities live here from various countries because all they see is central London, Leicester Square, Piccadilly Circus, Soho. They don't realize that this is the real London. We've got loads of minorities living here and so many people are surprised and I'm happy to show how it really is in London. Many cultures, many nationalities live, live in the suburbs, obviously. What you see in uh, Leicester Square, that's, that's tourists mostly. Wow. So this is where we are, boys and girls, outside of the Whitechapel station that has been beautifully refurbished and that's the, that's the Bangladeshi name there. You can see that on many shops in here. 
people are promoting, you know, Islam and stuff. The biggest mosque, sorry, the East London Mosque is just behind me, a few meters down. As you can see, this is one of the examples. There is a lot of Bangladesh, Bangladeshi names on the on the shops. My friend told me many people think uh, Whitechapel is a dangerous area, and I had to and I had to laugh about it because not not from my experience, abs absolutely not. I don't know if there are any numbers, you know, with the police that would confirm that um, that fact, <laughs> that myth. But according to my experience, absolutely not. From I'm not saying I've been here a lot, or I've been hearing a lot of news from this area, but my uh, my assumption on this is gonna be that it's not a dangerous, as dangerous area as people make it to be. That's that's the right wording I was going for. Look at that beautiful station here. So nice. I think it's because of the Elizabeth line. In the past, I, when I used to live in the area, it looked no, nothing like this. Long time ago, obviously, many, many years ago. I used to live in Shadwell, and that's the area where we are gonna head, head to, oh, look at this big woof woof. He probably eats as much as I do. And again, look. I don't know if you can see much. That's Tower Hamlet's town hall behind there. And that's a big building here, look at that. So as you can see, it's busy on Saturday. During the week, not as much. And I figured it was time to do a pre-recorded video here because as I said before, live streams are such a waste of time sometimes because people watch it only for two, three days max, two days, and then nobody ever watches it again. And it's such a shame because I've done a good job <laughs> stopping with every single vegetable, you know, communicating with the people who sell it, asking about the names and what it's being used for. So those videos are nice, but it's not as such a good quality as a pre-recorded video. And as I said, YouTube doesn't promote usually live streams longer than, uh, than two days. So what a waste of my effort, I would say, since nobody will ever watch those amazing videos. And the quality is not as good as this one here. So that's why I'm here doing pre-recorded video and I will be back and talking more in detail about vegetables in a different, on a different day.
Fishy fish. We got some street art. September. You can see you can see winter jackets being sold already. Summer is definitely over. What is this? Club coffee? That looks like a new thing now, isn't it? Oh wow. Things are changing. So you saw it first, <laughs> you saw it first on my channel, it's a new thing in Whitechapel. Yesterday I was in Stamford Hill, which is predominantly a Jewish area. It was Friday evening, so obviously everybody was dressed up for, for Shabbat. And today I'm here in Whitechapel, so obviously it's a completely different scene. I never realized there was pure gym in here. Now I know they're building something there. Again, in a few months, this video, um, after this video is posted, everything is gonna look different. It's gonna be. more developed.
ter deixado de errado, entendeu? I know this is the longer way to Shadwell, but still I want to show you the modern buildings here. I used to live not too far away from Oldgate East station and the place has changed beyond recognition since then. Since I used to work in the gym around the corner, not too not so far away from here, so I used to be in the area. There is a little park in here. <laughs> Sometimes you see quite a lot of characters in the in that park. There is fish and chips here. We are on Osborne Road. Ozzy Osborne. <laughs> oh Jesus. Somebody on a scooter. <laughs> Welcome to London. <laughs> oh, people are hilarious sometimes. So this is where we are now, outside of Oldgate East Station, one of the entries or exits. And this is the Whitechapel Art Gallery. They are still building new stuff here, as you can see. Look at that gangster to oh, the naughty bus. Can you see that, guys? Oh my goodness. I belong on that bus. <laughs> the oh, I have to show that to my friend. The gangster bus. And naughty, naughty bus. Oh my goodness. If somebody is interested in Jack the Ripper uh, tour, I've got it filmed on a good quality on my channel, uh, 4K, a two hour video. So just search Jack the Ripper 
Girl in Paradise and you will get a very good video. Many people love it. Many people left their comments below the video. Um, they prefer it for some reason to other tours that I've seen. It's funny. Um, the tour guy was really good. And some people of course have their own theory about the situation so they left what they thought about it in the comments so go and check it out if you are interested look at these new buildings let me zoom out Any of these would be a nice thumbnail. Any of these glassy buildings, but that's not what this video is about. So it is, it is not gonna be on this video. There was a university here, London Metropolitan University. Taking a picture for Instagram. Thank <laughs> you. 
thing is that We will have a little zigzag walk in this area just to show you around for those that potentially studied around here or lived or live around here so we are not sticking only to the main to the main road I might do a live stream after this video. How many minutes we are? 30 minutes in. Yeah, I might. the spoons Roman Catholic, Ch Catholic Church of the English Martyrs. There is pre Premier Inn right there.
Look at that Magdalen passage. Well, if it says passage, I do want to have a look and see what's going on there. If it leads somewhere interesting, I don't think so. But let's let's check it out. No, because there is the train. So yeah. That's number one, Prescott Street. So many gyms around here, oh my goodness, look at that. Brown bear. Oh, Empress, the Empress right there. Miss Divine, if you are watching. It's an Indian restaurant called the Empress right there.
Okay, and I walked around this area on a live stream, so I'm happy to be here on a pre-recorded video, better quality, and show you the the newly built places that I've never I've never seen before. I think I don't know how long they've been around here, but I don't remember um, this this bit here. And this part of the video is going to be probably more valuable for people that have any connection with this area. I used to live here or live here right now or used to commute through here. That's the reason I'm doing these videos to bring some memories to people who are associated to this area. Like me, I used to live in the area a long time ago and I can still get a little bit lost since it's been quite a few years, maybe 12 years, and I don't usually come here ever. So it's good to revisit old places. got some videos on my channel from driver's point of view um, on the DLR nobody seems to be interested in it on my channel but it's definitely cool especially you see there those are driverless trains and uh, it's a cool experience especially around Canary Wharf it's very pretty there
to do. I've got. I've got a message here. So here we are outside of Shadwell station. I used to live a minute, minute from here, somewhere in this, in this area, on this, on this street actually, on this, in this house I think. It's either this one or the next one. Long, long time ago. Um, I did manage to track it down. I just can't remember right now. Let me see, I'm, I've got a message from a friend who wants to, who wants to meet, let me see. Anyway, all good. So did I'm gonna stay filming. Nothing has changed here. Looks the same. I'm gonna show you the What's Me market. That area used to look a little bit different. As far as I remember, there used to be more um, Bangladeshi names on, on the buildings. I've been there last year, which is just here, a few meters. And the library used to have Bangladeshi name as far as I know, but I don't think that's the case now. If I remember correctly, let's see, let's explore. There is a market happen happening now, it's Saturday. And we are on Watney, Watney Street, Watney Street. anything today yet and it's 
it's getting a little bit late, which is not normal for me. Usually I eat a lot before leaving the house. So I might find myself, I might sniff myself some food around here and start a live stream. So what do we have? We've got Watney, Cafe Italia, Barbers next door, Tashin Mini Market, sorry, Tah Tahsin, Tahsin. Double, sorry, bu bubble cream. I must be hungry and can't read anymore. Uh, what else do we have? Some fashion. The library used to be on on my left, a little bit further down, as far as I remember. If I can rely on my memory. So yeah, this is their market. I used to come here by cheap veggies everything is a pound here for the bowl which was incredible just around the corner from my house incredible everybody who has this kind of market near their house they eat they eat well <laughs> unlike myself right now I, I don't live as close to a market like that but you see you've got you've got Bangladeshi name right there you see Watney Market written on top of there as well. Look at that. Right. You see? <laughs> They've got lots of jewelry in here. Loads of bling bling. So they got some clothes here. Oh, I almost tripped over over the babushka bag. <laughs> Do I see best kebab across the road? So yeah, multicultural London, as you can hear, as you can see. It is apparently. I hope they're open. Let me take a picture. I think my one of my friends would appreciate it. 
They like kebab. So East East London, part of East London is ticked off today. I've done two videos. This is the second one of the day. As I said, I'm going to eat and start our live stream. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please press the like button. Please subscribe if you are new. I walk around all London, north, west, south, east, everywhere. Winter, autumn and winter is around the corner. So I'll be doing some autumn videos now from parks and all sorts of places. So if you love London, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.